Hey, how is everyone doing today? So in today's video, I want to talk about the auto updater for the analog pocket. Now, I've people have mentioned this to me several times in the comment sections, and I've seen it all over the place. Uh, I just kind of been procrastinating on trying it out, but let me say I should have tried it out sooner. It made my life a lot easier. Thank you, everyone, for recommending it. But um, before we get into the that whole part of the video, what I do want to do now is make sure everybody likes, subscribe. Click the little red button down there. Thank you. Hopefully I earned it. Uh, and let's get right into the rest of the video. What we'll do now is we'll switch over to the computer and then I'll bring it back and I'll show you some of the features of it on the pocket itself. So I don't foresee this video going too long. But all right, let's switch it now. Okay, so here is the GitHub page. Now I know I've been procrastinating on using this. My bad. I should have used it sooner than what I just did. But hey, Better late than never. And let me tell you, this is a very good software. I recommend anybody using it if you just want a simple way to upload everything all at once. It's very straightforward and it makes things a lot easier. It also organizes things a lot better as well. So if you go here, it's very straightforward. Just like anything else you would use from GitHub, you go over to the release section right here. So I'll click on this. This is the latest one as of four days ago and you download the zip. And that's it. Not much else to it there. So this is awesome. Let's just show you how it looks now. Let's just go right here. So this is it right here. I don't think I can expand this. But as you can tell here, we have the update pocket section here, which will update everything. Uh, manage cores. This is also a good spot. The settings you can check out. You can download the pocket firmware, download the raw BIOS. You can, this is where you can choose to do all these things, which is pretty cool. So keep that in mind. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Download pre-release cores as well. That's awesome too. So I leave that as is. It's pretty good for me right now. Organizing the cores. This is where you can make everything a little bit neater. So before you might have seen home console and then just console. I prefer to have everything, you know, the same. So I've made everything home console. That's a home console. And, uh, you know, obviously handheld handheld. So that way everything is down the line the same. And it's pretty cool. It had all this installed for me. I didn't have to do anything else which is awesome, which is less work for me to do. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. You'll, it'll find your your uh, connected device. Now I recommend you make double check. You're gonna have to check yourself, make sure it's the right uh, pocket drive letter, especially if you have multiple USB devices connected like hard drives, flash drives, et cetera, whatever. But make sure you have the right one there. Uh, yeah, so let's show you that. And then here is where you can manage the cores. So, for example, let's say you didn't want Ardu Boy or I don't know, PDP1 Space Wars. You just unclick it and then that's it. I'll take care of it. I personally will have everything and that's just the way it is for me. All right. And this is where you would go to update it. Uh, current, you know, removal storage. I'm not going to do it now. It already did it. So, but update and that's it. That's pretty much clear. If you already have it latest update, then it won't really affect it. It'll be pretty much, uh, it won't do anything. It could be kind of a waste of space. You just delete the um, the pocket update, which is what I ended up doing because I didn't need it. So just keep that in mind. But all right, that's pretty simple. And now let me show you everything, how it looks on the pocket. And then that'll be it. All right, everybody, let's go over to the next part now. Okay, so we're back. So let me just show you all the good stuff that I was able to do. Like I mentioned, I don't see this video going very long. It's just to show you uh, some of the stuff that looks now. So let's, uh, you know, let me be right back. I think I need my micro SD card. That might be kind of important. Okay. So a micro SD card would be very important for this video. So here it is. <laughs> okay. So now as you can tell, it's been uh, cleaned up a lot more, even though they've already cleaned it up for you with the one of the latest updates. But now I'm able to edit this part. So now it says home console before one of them said console. So you're able to actually change how these look. So you could put, I don't know, um, let's just say you could put Nintendo only. If you just want to have all the Nintendo stuff, you know, or you just want to have a Sega stuff. You can categorize this any which way you want now, which is pretty cool. Uh, and they also put in the BIOS, which is a plus. This is in Elise. So if we go to, as you can tell, these all the handhelds. They were able to categorize it themselves. One of the cool part is they added a whole bunch of extra stuff that I hadn't had a chance to check out, like Donkey Kong. This is the arcade version. Let's check it out real quick. And it added the ROM for you too, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I guess that does make that part a little easier. We'll pump up the volume. 
Let's unmute. Okay. Yep. This is the classic Donkey Kong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, just died. <laughs> All right. So let's see what else. But those are honestly the biggest up updates I can give you for this. Just categorizing it's awesome being able to do everything download everything at once is very good and very convenient so i definitely recommend um everybody try it out i don't see any issue with it you can check out other games that that uh you might not have once you know you might not have checked out before so it's pretty cool and also one of the biggest things is that you can now have both nes's here you can change the core so you can have the agg23 or you can have the spiritualized uh, 1997 version. So you can switch between them, which is pretty cool. So now you can run this. You can try the NS NSF stuff, which is the music. Or you can go for the... Oh, and also, since that's pretty cool, let me try this out again. Since apparently <laughs> that meant just please wait. That error message from one of my prior videos. So let's see if that gives me any issues. What I'll do is, uh, if it takes too long, I'll just fast forward through that part. Okay, so that's supposed to mean please wait. You just leave it there. And this is awesome being able to have both of them on because that was an issue I was having before. But it seems like with this updater, it does solve that issue. So keep that in mind. This is pretty cool. This is where translator. I know you can use Google Lens uh, camera on it, but I cannot do that at the moment since I'm currently recording. I'm sure that also means please wait. It's going. There we go. All right. So I just have to be a little bit more uh, patient, <laughs> say the least. But these are bigger files. This is like, you can tell, this is like right in the middle between this, this system, it's right in the middle between Super Nintendo and NES. Ah, right, cool. I like that it has, they seem to update it very often too. So they have all the latest cores. As of recording right now, they have all the latest cores for sure. So keep that in mind right now, it's all latest, including the, uh, including the, the new update for the Unlock Pocket. But all right, everyone, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.